Hi everyone, my name is Haley Anderson and I will be discussing the communication accommodation theory from module 9. The communication accommodation theory is guided by the fact that sometimes communicators sometimes adapt their behavior towards others. The textbook uses the example that when a speaker is talking to an older person, they tend to speak slower. So this example could put, shed a little light on what this theory is all about. It's in my opinion that I use this theory in my everyday life when it comes to conversing with different people. The communication accommodation theory is a way of adjusting your speech tacti tactics when communicating with others. Unlike the example the textbook uses, there are several other ways in which this theory comes in handy other than just people who are older or younger than you. Another example might include articulating your words more and speaking slower to someone whose first language might not be the same as yours, so they are better equipped to understand what you are saying. I think the specific theory works this way because when people are interacting with one another, they want to accommodate to the other person so that they can get a, a approval and set up a positive image in front of them. In other words, they want to match each other or be similar when it comes to social aspects. While I've used more personal and casual examples in this theory in my life, it can also be used in professional settings as well. Let's say that you have to give a speech or present in front of your colleagues, you would also utilize the communication accommodation theory. However, there is one downfall to I do see to this theory. It is based all off of inferences. You would have to perceive how quickly your audience members can speak, stereotype your audience on a speech rate that they will be able to comprehend, and the topic of the message. If your inferences are off on any of these factors, you can end up insulting your audience members or even boring them. So in conclusion, the communication accommodation theory has the freedom to be used in many different aspects of your life. The way I see it is if you're interacting with someone else with different social norms than yourself, you will naturally accommodate to their communication needs, whether it's casual or a professional setting. And this is the communication accommodation theory in its entirety. Thank you.